to my knowledge, Michael was perfectly content away from surfing in you know in the, in the last twenty years, thirty years. He was um, he didn't see his life as a tragedy at all. He was content with his achievements and and the fact that he was you know once indisputably the best surfer in the world, and he was happy to move on from that leave it behind and live a normal life living at home with his mum and his friends but there was certainly tragedy in the Michael story in some ways a lot of it wasn't unique to him I think Michael went through what many surfers of his generation did particularly on the Gold Coast in terms of damaging themselves really badly with drugs and alcohol and there probably wasn't the education for them to know what the long term effects of that were And the other thing is, of course, is he was uh, undiagnosed schizophrenic for many years. Combining illegal drugs with uh, schizophrenia is a pretty lethal combination. Uh, I think that's the real tragedy there. He was so highly evolved and specialised as a surfer and he built these own surfboards. At that that time, that was, uh, you know, the sort of highest evolution of a surfer shaper that anyone had seen. I think that that was really inspiring to many. Morning of the Earth filmmaker Albie Fowlson kind of totally dropped out. He he did make other films after Morning of the Earth, but he definitely didn't seem interested in, in busting his gut to, to promote or sort of capitalise on the success of Morning of the Earth. He, he's almost happy resting on his laurels, I, I, I suppose. Also, it's a formidable task to, to tackle uh, this project, and I don't think many filmmakers would have had the balls, let alone the resources, to follow up such an iconic creation uh, it's it's taken the right combination of people and resources to line up and get together with Albie to make it happen and that has been many years and a lot of work in the pipeline to make that happen there's definitely something that's in the DNA of surfing that reaches right back to the sports origins um, that you know associates with music it makes sense when you think about it because music and surfing are, are both all about rhythm and timing and and the appreciation of those who can master both of those things with their own kind of style and grace